if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you fine, want to have a good time, then like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, my stomach hurt. I should never eat all that food. But hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Miss Tosh Tosh, aka Natasha. And we're here with dun, 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 score review. So, you guys know I do this every competition that actually gives you access to your scores because not everyone not everyone does but for perfect you can pay 25 dollars to get your scores do i think they should be free i do but it don't matter what i think but we got our scores and not only are we going to review our scores from this time around we're also going to compare them for from the what's it the last two years oh goodness the last two years so let's get right into the video i got my trusty world's perfect score folder it's literally it's all that's in here is world perfect scores so what we're gonna do is i think oh yeah we're gonna go with this year so we're going to start with our preliminary competitions now this is the first time we stepped on stage for wow wear fashion and question swimwear and evening gown these scores determine whether or not we make it into the finals to compete again in the exact same areas for a chance to win the title only the top 15 goes into the semifinals and the top five finalists but sometimes there is a top 16 for people's choice if the top 16 person the people's choice in a particular person already had the scores to make it into a top 15 then there's only gonna be a top 15 in this case people's choice already made it into top 15 with their scores and there was no need for a top 16 so all in my division we had a top 15 semifinalists moving on to compete again for swim while we're fashion and in the gown. We're going to start with my preliminary scores. So the score is out of 30. For my wow wear, the first wow wear competition, these are my preliminary scores, people. I got a 22 out of 30. To me, that's pretty low because compared to my scores from the last few years, which was different because we only had three judges, which is why um, there's a 30. Because last year, I believe it was last year. Yeah, last year we had 40, which was means we have four judges. And the year before that, we it was a 50. So the scores are varying from each year. But let's compare it to my first year. So my first year, I actually got a 35 out of 50. Now, first year, I only made top 15. My first time, so I was like, okay, I'm a little proud of that. But in the first year, I was tied for 11th place. Second year, preliminary scores. I got a 32 out of 40. And my first year score was pretty low. 35 out of 50, that's a whole 15 points below the perfect score rate. Very, very mediocre, but I was still tied for 11th place. And then for last year, 32 out of 40, that's only eight points away from perfect score. And I was tied for fifth place. But this year, I got a 22 out of 30, and I was tied for 14th place. I'm not quite sure. However, looking at my videos from the previous year, plus the videos from this year, I do realize the areas where I could have done better in raw wear question. I'm not sure if it was my modeling ability. I don't think it was my modeling ability. I think. Maybe it could have been an outfit I chose. I did choose the dress. I did notice a lot of people who were wearing the jumpsuits 
were getting higher scores or the pink dress but i personally like the dress and i don't think it was the outfit i do think it's how i delivered my question last year since that's kind of like the highest i've placed after wow wear i'm compared to that year i feel like i projected my voice more and was more theatric and at first i didn't want to go to do theatrics this year because someone told me that i should keep it more personable to the judges so i picked questions that were very vulnerable very deep very connecting but i don't think i was able to deliver the strong answers i usually do because of that reason that i chose more vulnerable deep questions and there weren't any theatrics so i have to figure out a way to merge the theatrics and a connection together so i could give a flawless performance possibly the next time if i go back to world's perfect but yes, after wild wear, I was tied for 14th place. Then we had the perfect swimsuit score. And the perfect score for this year, like I said, was 30. I received a 23 out of 30, which is a one point higher than my wild wear score. I was tied for ninth place at this point. That was my score after competing in swimsuit, tied for ninth place. To compare to the scores from two years ago my first time i scored a 33 out of 50 which was lower than my evening gown score not my evening gown score it was lower than my wild wear score the first year and i was tied for 17th place so i dropped place after my swimsuit score the first year the second year i also dropped swimsuit score the second year with a 31 out of 40 i dropped one point for my wild wear score but i ended up being tied for seventh place instead of fifth so i dropped place again i was still higher up there seventh place still beats 17th however this year it says ninth so it's still in the one to ten range which is what i like i like to keep it in the one tenth range but this year my simple score boosted me up so i went from 14th place to tied for ninth place that was is a big jump for me. Either I just performed the best I did or the other contestants weren't sh as, sh as strong in swimsuit. So at this point, after swimsuit, my preliminary score this year, I was tied for ninth place. Now, moving on to my formal wear score. Now, my formal wear score is the highest it's been this year. So it was the highest competition. And also, my, last year, it was my lowest competition. It could be because people said that I had a pretty basic boring dress last year, which is baffled to me because I spent a lot of money on that dress. But it wasn't as theatrical as my dress this year. If you've seen the video, it was very different than what I usually go for. So my form wear score, it was so 24 out of 30, which is my highest score that I've received compared to wild wear and swim, which was 22 and 23. This was 24. And I was tied for eighth place after my formal wear score. So my score going into the total was eighth place, but that's not my ranking going into, into the semifinals. So we're going to get to that in a second. So this year, tied for eighth place after formal. My first year... Since my first year, my formal was also my highest score for preliminaries. It, it scored me a 36 out of 50. That was the highest score I received my first year. And I was tied for 15th place. So I almost did not make it into the finals my first year. My final ranking was a 104 out of 150, which put me in 14th place going into finals my first year. That was the closest, when I say the closest, to not making finals I've ever experienced. So I was in 14th place going into finals my first year. Second year, like I said, my evening gown was my lowest score last year. And I still was able to have a pretty decent score, probably because we only had a top 10 the second year the second year was very few of us and we only was able to get a top 10 i think it was about 18 18 contestants and even though i scored a 30 out of 40 and i was going into 11th place after my evening gown my total perfect ranking in preliminaries was 93 out of 120 which was tied for seventh place 
So I was in the top 10, tied for seventh place specifically, going into finals last year. This year, my evening gown was the highest, 24 out of 30, tied for eighth place. My total ranking going into finals was 69 out of 90. And that got me into 11th place going into finals. I don't understand how I still was borderline not making it into finals barely. I don't understand why I was only four places away from not making it. I think 11th place was considerably low compared to the performance I did. I don't think my performance deserved 11th place. But going to finals, I feel like they were able to see me more. So, of course, my score changed because I ended up getting third runner-up. Still hyped off that third runner-up after my third year. And I was really excited about that because my goal was top five. So, I just don't understand how I was in 11th place going into finals. But we're going to move on to our finals score. Now, this year, I end up going into while wear and I scored lower the second time I scored lower the second time so I had a 24 the first time and a 22 going into finals so 22 scored lower I don't know why like I said I feel like it's the same issue I didn't project I wasn't theatric enough I think I need to find a way to mix that together to create a strong solid answer and my wait wait a minute Oh, you guys, I lied, I lied, I lied. I moved up. So I was a 22 in prelims, 24 in finals. Whoops. Yeah, see, that was my fault. So yeah, I moved up. So my wild wear score was better the second time when I was in finals, which is really strange for me because I feel like my answer was stronger the first time, even though my score was higher the second time. But... My second time, my question was a little bit more personal. I talked about my grandmother. So I believe that maybe I did connect with the judges a little bit more on that. And that's probably why they scored me higher. And I was tied for fifth place going into top five. So I was tied for fifth place. You know, the first year when I was doing the finalist competition, I dropped in my wow wear so i went from 35 to 34 only one point difference but that put me tied for 12th place after my finals performance so i'm like okay i was still borderline you know at the bottom half of the group and finals still don't understand why and in my second year in the semifinals, i did 29 out of 40 which was considerably, no, 35 out of 40, I'm sorry. 35 out of 40, which was higher. My wild wear score went from 32 to 35 the second year. And that ranked me at fifth place. So the first time I was tied at fifth place and the second time I was at fifth place. So I think that I'm being consistent in wild wear because I went from being in 12th place after wild wear to being in fifth two years in a row so i think that's considerably good now for the swimsuit score and i went up one point in swimsuit score so i went from a 23 to a 24 and i was in sixth place after swimsuit so whoever i was tied with in swimsuit no tied with in while we're going to swimsuit probably did a bit better than me because i ended up dropping into sixth place and whoever that fifth place person was probably did a little bit better. But I was still in sixth place. I still had time to redeem myself to get into the top five. But I still went up. So from a 23 to a 24, I was still being very consistent. So to me, even though these points aren't going up or being, you know, drastic differences, it tells me that I was consistent in my performance. Meanwhile, the first year, I also went up in swimsuit. So instead of being in 17th place, I was tied for 13th place after swimsuit this first year going into finals. But it's still bottom half. Like it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. Meanwhile, the second year I dropped 
I definitely dropped. I went from a 31 to a 29. That's what I was talking about at first because it, it shook me. I'm like, okay, they hated my swimsuit, which is understandable because I was doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff second year. I was being flamboyant, dropping into poses, and I was really feeling myself. I did too much. So that's understandable. So I went from 31 to 29, and I was tied for eighth place, which is still good for my second year. I was still, I was still kind of up there. Like, I almost made top five. I feel like if I didn't do that much... I probably would have made them. And I was tied for eighth place after that. So that way it wasn't bad. So, like I said, I'm doing better because this year, after some sales in sixth place, it's still not where I want to be yet because I feel like I deserve a little bit higher. But I'm not complaining, like I said. And then we went into formal wear. In a formal wear this year, I went up four points. So I went from a 24 to a 28. That's almost a perfect score. I had a 28 out of 30. That is literally almost a perfect score. And I feel like now that there's only 15 of us, they're able to see me now. And maybe I got a little bit lost in the sauce, which is not good. I don't know how I was, you know, not being shown the first time. But they're, I think they're able to see me because my scores are significantly higher. It's like, oh, look at her. Like, she is glowing. She's shining. And I did have something to prove to myself. So I feel like I worked really hard in my modeling ability and really trying to stand out on stage. And being at 28 out of 30... Is great for me because like I literally was so excited at the fact that I saw my scores and I saw that like they really love my eating gown I went over the top and with my dress choice not with my modeling is a dress that I know don't, don't normally wear like it was very high slit very sexy and it just wasn't my usual style but I actually ended up loving my dress um, I had a hard time walking in it at first but I just had to you know fake it time make it and it ended up being a perfect fit for me and being tied for third place after formal wear, my scores significantly turn out to be a 76 out of 90, and that qualified me for third runner-up. So that's how I ended up placing top five at that time. Meanwhile, first and second year, I didn't even get to top five. Like first year, I think, let's see, I finished my formal wear score also say consistent the first year like I had 36 on both nights and it was still the highest score my first year but I still ended up getting 13th place finishing out finals so don't understand how I get 36 by even gown score being this first I don't know even why they scored me that low I don't really think I deserved it but I was still getting used to perfect because that was my first year but my second year they did me dirty like they really scored me a 31 but I did go up so like I went from a 30 to a 31 in formal wear but that still made me be in ninth place after formal wear but at least I went up one point but they didn't like my formal wear like like I said they didn't like my formal wear they did but they definitely liked it more than my swimsuit that second day like I definitely learned my lesson from that but the second year I 95 out of 120 I was in eighth place which is completely different than the first year but I feel more proud this year even though I made top 10 last year there was only 18 of us and I feel like when there's more girls I feel a little bit more fulfilled if I mean, anybody else feel that way you understand in the first year like I fought hard and I still managed to get top 15 even though I was in 13th place but I feel like second year I was getting still getting my bearings on straight and you know I was like okay you know seven place out of 18 it's good. Like, it's good. I'm proud of myself. Well, eighth place, my bad. Out of 18, I was proud of myself. But this year, as many people that we had, we had a lot this year. Third runner-up, compared to all those beautiful women, that was my proudest moment. And I would have to say that I'm really proud of myself for making it that far. As far as what would I do next year, if I go, because, you know, I've already gave my review on this year, and I've always enjoyed myself, and I always think it's a, you know, great time but it's just like is there something that's going to be different or better for me we don't know we'll just have to see as i come around i usually make an announcement if i'm going to go back to perfect or not but i would say that i definitely if i do go back know what i want to do and how i want to stand out like i really feel like i will have to work on first of all like writing down my questions because i really didn't know what i had on my questions so I got there because I didn't remember and I didn't write it down. So when I submit my questions, 
have a copy of them and actually making a story and a connection and making it strong as soon as I get a chance to practice it, you know, having something solid and confirm before I get out there. And like just making a question and an answer when I get there, which gave me less time to prepare. You know, like in swim, like I probably have to get out of my comfort zone and actually do something like more sexy, but like more, it could be sexy and put together. It's just, I'm, I'm not a fan of two pieces and I probably will feel like I have to do maybe a two piece, a nice bright color to really bring out my skin tone and to actually be confident in it. That's gonna be the only thing I struggle with is being confident in the two piece. So we'll see how that works out for me. And for gown, the struggle is always finding a good solid gown that you feel like you haven't seen before. And that's really part of your personality. It's really gonna stand out. That's always a task. So we already know gowns gonna be quite difficult to find. But I always end up pulling it out at the end. So fingers crossed that if I do do it next year, that I know exactly the direction that I'm heading in. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. If you like me, if you like my content, if you just want to see more of me, want to see more of my content, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I post. Thank you for sticking around this long, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, home slice. Bye.